Hello all, welcome to Civil Engineering Education. As we are discussing about the estimate of 3 BHK framed building structure of single story, we have covered two videos. So in video 1, we have discussed about the explanation of drawings and in video 2, we have covered the quantity estimation of general items in substructure. So we haven't covered the RCC part in video 2. So in this video, we are going to see the complete RCC quantity estimate of the building. So don't skip the video in middle, watch the video till end and if you are new to the channel, do subscribe. So this is substructure, we have left with RCC calculation. So in this video, we will calculate the RCC required for footing, neck column, plinth beams, floor column and floor beams floor slab right and along with that parapet level column also so these different items of calculation which we are going to do in this video so this is detailed estimation table we have already discussed about the headings of this table so in this first item of calculation is footings so in footings we have divided the footing into two different parts first one is square portion second one is tapered portion so here you can see this is footing rcc footing and this is part one whatever this box is there this is part one and this is tapered portion or sloped portion right as i told you there are two different depths so for part one depth is different part two depth is different right so what we will do we will calculate part one separately part 2 separately then we will add these two right so this is square portion of footing this is tapered portion of footing so total 12 12 number of footings are there length of footing that is 1 meter by 1 meter here you can see this is part 1 so this will be 1 meter right so here you can see this is 1 meter okay so length side 1 meter, breadth side 1 meter. So 1 meter by 1 meter and depth of part 1 is 0 0.5. Here you can see this is depth of part 1. So L into B into D is equal to quantity. To get the total quantity, quantity multiplied by numbers. Right. So this is square portion. Now let's see tapered portion. So 12 number of footings are there. And here we got 0 0.62. How we got this, we will see. So, in this tapered portion, we will take the average of these two dimensions. So, this one and this one. We will take the average of these two. So, let's see. So, this one is 1 meter. This is 0 0.23 meter. Right. So, this is 0 0.23. This is 1 meter. We have to take the average of these two. So 1 plus 0 0.23 divided by 2. We got 0 0.615 meter. Right. So we have written 0 0.62 approximately. So length is 0 0.62, breadth is 0 0.62 and depth, depth of tapered portion is 0 0.3. Right. So L into B into D is equal to quantity multiplied by numbers is equal to total quantity so this is footing so we have added these two right so this is the calculation of rcc footing now let's see neck column so this is neck column this one right so we have to calculate the quantity of neck column so in this substructure area you can see column is starting from here right we will calculate the height of column from here to here right from here to here as the neck column height and dimensions that is length and breadth of neck column is 230 mm by 230 mm so 12 number of columns 0 0.23 meter by 0 0.23 meter and 1.23 meter is the height of column that is from this is 1 meter and this is 0 0.23 right plinth beam depth is 0 
so we have written 1.23 meter as the height of neck column so l into b into d is equal to quantity multiplied by numbers is equal to total quantity so we got total quantity of neck column is 0.78 meter cube now plinth beam calculation so these are plinth beams from this we are going to find out the quantity so first of all we have to identify the lengths of beams right so here you can see from this face of column to this face of column the beam length is 4 meters okay and we have named this beam as pb1 plinth beam 1 right so in the same way this is also 4 meter length beam so here we have given the same name pb1 only so like this we have to count how many number of plinth beams are there so this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 and this is 6 this is 7 8 9 10 and 11 total 11 beams of 4 meter length right so here you can see 4 meter beams pb1 total 11 numbers right so these dimensions are same all the dimensions are same so we have counted like this so 11 number of beams length of each beam is 4 meters and breadth is 0 0.23 meter and depth is 0 0.23 meter so l into b into d is equal to quantity multiplied by numbers is equal to total quantity so this is the actual quantity of pb1 now let's see pb2 pb2 of length 5.63 meters so here you can see so this one pb2 of length 5.63 meters from this face of column to this face of column so complete we lay one plinth beam so here you can see we have named it as pb2 so like this we have to calculate how many pb2s are there so this is one this is two and this is three so similarly four this is five and this is six so total six beams are there so here you can see we have written the count as six so length of each beam is 5.63 meters breadth and depth are same 9 inch by 9 inch so l into b into d is equal to quantity multiplied by numbers is equal to total quantity in the same way we will calculate remaining also 2.8 meter beams and 1.4 meter beams so i'll show you this is 2.8 meter beam this one 1 2 3 3 beams are there so we have written 3 beams of 2.8 meter so procedure of calculation is same next is 1.4 meter beam here you can see this is 1.4 meter so this beam is 1.4 meter this beam is 1.4 meter we have named it as pb4 so 1 2 and here you can see this is 3 so total 3 numbers 1.4 meter 0 0.23 by 0 0.23 l into b into d is equal to quantity multiplied by numbers is equal to total quantity so as these are plinth beams so we will add all these quantities right so if we add all this we will get 4.78 cubic meter as the quantity of plinth beam next is floor column right floor column we will calculate from top of plinth to top of roof so here you can see we have already calculated till here in case of neck column so this is floor column height from top of plinth beam to top of this parapet level column right so how much we got 4.15 meters so the height of column is 4.15 meters so here is the height 4.15 meters length is 0 0.23 breadth is 0 0.23 l into b into d is equal to quantity multiplied by numbers is equal to total quantity so this is the total quantity next one is roof beams so roof beams and plinth beams both are same procedure of calculation right so both are same but what is the difference between these two here you can see the depth is changing here for all beams we have written 0 0.23 meters only right here 350 mm 500 mm 350 mm 350 mm so this is the difference between plinth beam and 
roof beam calculation procedure so numbers are same 11 6 3 3 11 6 3 3 right so what is the difference means depth is changing so procedure is same you can see this so here we got the quantity as 8.44 meter cube this is for roof beam next is floor slab so floor slab is this one i have already explained you fs1 fs1 and fs1 so these are floor slab ones so what is the dimension of this panel so between these two beams so these two beams it is 4 meter between these two beams it is 4 meter so the size of this panel is 4 meter by 4 meter so we have to write the length as 4 meter and breadth as 4 meter and thickness of slab is 150 mm so here you can see so fs1 of size 4 meter by 4 meter so three numbers are there this is fs1 this is fs1 this is fs1 right so three numbers 4 meter by 4 meter thickness is 150 mm so l into b into d is equal to quantity multiplied by numbers is equal to total quantity in the same way remaining panels 4 meter by 5.63 meter panel i'll show you this so this is 4 meters by 5.63 meters panel so this will be 4 meters so this is 5.63 so this is fs2 right so in this way we will enter the dimensions and multiply l into b into d is equal to quantity multiplied by numbers is equal to total quantity in the same way 3 meter by 2.8 meter 5 meter by 2.8 meter and 2.6 by 1.4 meter and 1.2 by 1.4 meters so these are all slab panels so this is the procedure of calculation of rcc required for various elements like footings neck column plinth beam floor column floor beam and also roof slab so i hope you got this and if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section so that i can clear your doubt so if you like the video definitely hit the like button and show your support thanks for watching